gamers and welcome back to another mod for hearts of iron 4 this time it is the csa mod i completely forgot i had this mod have i done an overview a review for this mod i don't think so but i'm just gonna get to it guys as you can see the confederate republic is what it's called but if i go to select country as you can see the confederate republic it ain't it ain't called the confederate states it's called the confederate republic of america now i guess CRA even though the mod still says CSA because it's based off the Confederate States from the Civil War so the Confederate States uh, never were eliminated they never gave up and uh, I guess some treaty came to be between the US and the CSA and the Confederate Republic came to be in this mod so I'm gonna be playing as the Confederate Republic leader is Harry F Byrd ideology non-aligned government authoritarian regime dictatorship basically next election is 1937 ruling party confederate democrats now i wonder actually let me go back single player new game 1939 i wonder if i go to war oh what it's not here are you kidding me oh there it is i wonder if the confederate republic uh actually goes to war against the u.s well joins on the axis side with germany italy and japan and then we can have like a four-way axis party there going on with the confederate republic going to war against the united states so i'm just gonna start it off in 1939 why not i have battle rail as always enabled in here so civilian as always guys the only way i'll play jim crow laws confederate democrats 100 percent oh, okay democratic party of the csa southern economics i see again guys you guys can request more mods other mods even verses if you want but right now i'm focusing more on the mods because as i stated and said in my last video for hearts of iron uh, i love the mods for hearts of iron 4 it's one of the best ones out there all right less than a year tomorrow yes as always i'm gonna move up all my troops though to Washington next to the uh, US's capital why not and why do we have we have a few National Guardsmen here in Texas what are you guys doing in Texas I don't know why they're in Texas we got a few more here in uh, Georgia as well and a naval unit in oh that's a first Marine Brigade in Virginia don't know what's going on there all right so I did not upload a video yesterday I actually slept all day yesterday I was too tired you guys know this already. I don't need to explain anymore, but I'm dead. I was dead, okay? I just couldn't move my body. Um, streaming? I don't think it's going to happen either. I just can't. I'm not up to it. I don't have my bearings today or for this week, actually, so I'm going to have to delay it. <laughs> Next week, I apologize, guys, but I just can't. And besides, at least you guys are getting more hearts around four videos, eh? I'll be uploading something tomorrow or on Sunday, actually, a pre-recorded past broadcast, actually, from Twitch when I played Supreme Roller Multiplayer with Illinois Mapping there, and also when Battlego Studios and a few other members of their studios actually join in my stream, so I think I might make a highlight of that and then upload it again on the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday, so guys, just to let you know, that's what I got going on here. Select national focus. I got to do this first before I begin. I forgot to do that in the last mod. The charter of Confederate ships, the CSAC, formalize the CSC. Civil works remain. What? Oh, earmarking. Um. Oh gosh, my face cam. It's blocking. Oh, I could just drag. I keep forgetting. Uh, Stevens versus Alabama. Alabama. Platt amendment dispute. Reaffirm old ties, the Lindsay Russell Doctrine. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with the CSAC. I guess this is the Air Force right here. Since there's a plane there, of course, why not? And this is the Army, so let's do that. I like to upgrade our Army here. And if I do click on the flag here, it looks like well, actually, just a hundred percent. We're non-aligned. But we do have other parties here. The Whig Party, Democratic, 
Communist Party here of the Confederate States of America and the Golden Legion of the Confederacy, which is the fascist party if you want to align yourself again with the Axis, Germany, Italy, and Japan. And then that's what we are non aligned, 100%. When you do start off in 1936, though, you do have, however, some democratic percentage in there and also some communist percentage. It's not non aligned 100%, but in 1939, right before World War II, it is. All right, so what am I doing here? Um, I don't know what to do in the game again. I'm lost. I'm just going to show you guys what the mod is about. Go straight to war. Boom. But first, I'm going to put my units all lined up. Oh, that's right. I got to sign up some generals here real quick. That's another thing I got to do. No commander. How many commanders? George S. Patton. How nice. Lovely. Courtney Hodges. Uh, Leonardo Jero, William Simpson. We got a bunch here. Nope. Wait. Wait a minute. All right. There. That's that. I'm just choosing anything right now, guys. Just to let you know. And then one more here. William Simpson. Actually, we're going to move all these guys. Grab them all. There we go. And send them towards the Virginia-Maryland border. Towards Washington. Boom. We'll speed this up. I keep forgetting to turn off the day-night cycle. God damn it. Oh, gosh. Game. China and Japan have signed a white peace. Communist China and Japan have signed. What? China and. Jukio. Communist China. What the hell's going on? China, China. Why am I getting all this China? We no longer get the effects from start time tracker. Idea expired. I don't know what the hell that is, but okay. Let me go check in Asia. What is all that between Japan and China? Like three different Chinas over there. I don't even know. Yep, that's China. Sinkyong, Tibet. Uh huh. Mangjukyo or something like that. That's Communist China. Was that there before? I don't remember, guys. King. Queen China? Queng? Communist China? I don't think that's ever been there before. I think it's different for this mod. I don't know. I haven't seen that at all. German Reich, Poland. Just checking a few things out around the map. Alright, that's about it, to be honest. Alright, so let's go back to me. Is the U.S. still in control of uh, the Philippines? Yes, it is. Alright, so we're going to move on here and see how this goes and turns out. Hopefully it pans out perfect for me. Since I'm sending all my units to Washington in an instant. And I'm also playing civilian difficulty because I suck. Honduras declared war in Nicaragua. Dominican, Nepal, El Salvador, yep, yep, here he goes, Battle Royale begins. I still haven't gotten the chance to let the game simulate itself and see who becomes the winner of the uh, Battle Royale mode for Hearts of Iron. Am I at war now? It said my name, I saw it, they're confederate something. I don't think so. Saudi Arabia. Yep, 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 yep. We're in the mountains. We're in the Appalachian Mountains. Some people say it differently. I, I call it the Appalachian. Appalachia. Appalachian. Appalachian. I say Appalachian Mountains. Poland declared war in Latvia. German right. Yep. Germany's doing its own thing, like always in Europe. Oh, gosh, my mouse. Where's it going? Got a big front going on. Oh, I'm at war with Mexico. Alright, no, we're both at war with Mexico. <laughs> the U.S. and myself. But I'm not going to focus on the southern border. I'm trying to focus here on the northern border here. That's what the purpose of this video is. I want to send my units as quick as possible towards Washington. Uh, Washington? 
Washington, excuse me, and just right off the bat declare war and see if I can try to take the capital city in an instant. And if the game just ends right there, that's what I want. Can we send our navy up there to the Atlantic? No, the Chesapeake Bay. No, don't work. Oh, there we go. The Eastern Seaboard. Yes, that's what I want. Actually, can we send it? No, we can't. Damn it. Stupid. Ah, let's send them out. <laughs> We're still traveling. And trekking across the southeast here. Still got a ways away of traveling. Still in Tennessee. Other parts of the southeast. Alright, so while we wait. Uh, guys, how is everyone doing? Again, I apologize for not streaming this week at all. It's random. My streaming schedule is random. And that depends on what I'm doing this week and how work goes. That's how I uh, base it off if I'm trying to stream or not. And then plus, I got to upload a video here and there afterwards. So, it's a lot to do, man. It's a large schedule for me personally. I'm not good with time management, as I said a hundred times. But I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers, which is my new goal now. I'm close to 1,800 subscribers. So again, thank you so much to everyone that has been subscribed. To the new time subscribers and that are about to subscribe after this video, <laughs> please do so. Thank you so much. Let's get to 1800. Let's get to 2K before the new year starts, which I probably will do eventually, maybe. Who knows? But at the moment, for this, yeah, for this upcoming week or so, these two weeks, maybe even three weeks. Again, guys, a quick message. Uh, Otakon and Anime Convention is coming up on August 10th in Washington DC and I'll be headed to that so I want to try to f work on my cosplay uh, reading some quotes famous quotes famous lines from the animes Persona 5 and Steins Gate sent some cosplaying as two of those characters Okabe Rintaro again from Steins Gate and Ren Amamiya from Persona 5 I'm also currently playing Persona 4 on my PlayStation Vita I bought the game a long time ago never touched it until a few weeks ago and I've been putting so many hours into Persona 4 I cannot believe it no wonder my friend's been telling me he's gotten over 120 hours in Persona 5 uh, another fellow friend co-worker from work and if I if he does lend me Persona 5 someday if I ask him for the PS4 by the way I don't think I'll be able to stream or even upload videos for a while since I'll be focusing again on work uh, sleeping Maybe watching a few animes here and there, but mostly on Persona 5 because if I'm putting so many hours in Persona 4 right now, I can't. I've lost track. Then I could imagine putting more hours into Persona 5. Heck, maybe even surpassing 120 hours from him. So I don't know, guys. We'll see when I want to borrow Persona 5. Other than that, you guys won't see me for a while if I'm playing the game. It's already, I can hear a thunderstorm. It's thundering already. Another storm is coming. It's been raining so much lately. This entire week. No sunlight. I mean, the sun has come out a few times, but it's mostly rain and whatnot. Alright, so enough talk. Let us, uh... Can I declare war now? Join wars. No, I gotta justify a war goal. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, dang it. Washington? Stop. I think that's the state of Washington. I do not want Washington. I want DC though. That's if there's two of them in here. Oh, no, there isn't. Alright, so it's gotta be Maryland. Which will take 125 days. So we'll see how that goes. Washington DC is not its own separate entity, its own district here. It's a part of Maryland right now. <coughs> Alright, you can see the U.S. lining up and sending units towards Washington. And I guess I'll check out what's going on around the rest of the world. 
Germany's still at it over there. Oh, they look, they're already conquering southern Sweden there. All right. France takes Bel all the, uh, the low countries, all the low countries. Spain, Portugal, looks like Portugal will be eliminated. Italy, Yugoslavia going at each other's throats. Same with Greece, Romania, Bulgaria. Looks like Bulgaria will be eliminated there. Turkey, I guess, it has annexed Iraq. No, both Iran and Turkey have annexed parts of Iraq. But now they're pushing into Saudi Arabia. It looks like Saudi Arabia doesn't stand a chance. Their military was relatively weak back in the 1930s and 40s. Turkey had a much better military there. Iran, Afghanistan, Afghanistan is pushing. Oh, what the hell happened? It just closed my game. Oh, I wanted my second monitor. That's why. I scrolled all the way too far. India. Siam. China, on the other hand. It looks like communist China is gone. Oh, no. They're still there. Japan is pushing into Mongolia. China annexed Tibet from the looks of it. That is... What is that? Afghanistan? <laughs> Afghanistan got somewhere in between China and... The Soviet Union and Mongolia. How the hell did they do that? Daba Chang. They got a province out of China there, from the looks of it. And it looks like the Soviet Union is also is also pushing. I can't pushing. I can't even speak right now. Pushing somewhere down. I don't even know. Into uh, China. Yes, that's from the looks of it. Japan, on the other hand, nothing going on there. Australia. They're busy with the. Uh, Dutch East Indies are right, my national focus is set. Africa. A lot of stuff going on in Africa. Yep. German right. You declared war in Norway. Chile, Argentina, Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia, the UK, Liberia. So much going on. So many messages. And it looks like Mexico will be annexed fully by the United States. Again, I'm not trying to focus on that. They're busy over there. Can we please hurry up? I want my mouse wheel is so broken. I'm trying to scroll. Can you guys hear that? <sighs> How long is this going to take? Um, where's my thing at? Justifying war goals. Expected to finish January 29th, 1940. Gosh, that's going to take forever. Let's beat it up here. <sighs> Damn. No, that's not gonna work, huh? Oh, there we go. Let's send it around to New York. Why not? All right, so they've got a garrison there in Washington already, but I'm just gonna send all my units full frontal assault. That's what I love to do in Supreme Ruler most of the time. 80% of the time, full frontal assault. Actually, no, no, scratch that. 90% of the time, it works. The other 10%, it goes the other way, and I get pushed back. Pretty bad, pretty far. That's what happened in that world annexation part between Poland. <laughs> and uh, they pushed me back like two times, I think, doing a full frontal assault, even though I had a large military, but that's because of their artillery that time. All right, enough of that story. That was a long time ago. That Let's Play's finished. So what's the timer here? Did I, even start? I didn't even start the timer here. Fuck. I want to put five minutes here. Hopefully five minutes is enough for this. Because Hearts of Iron 4 videos, as always, Usually go for more than 20, heck, even 30 minutes. And that's why it's always such a pain and a hassle for me to make a Hearts of Iron or even a Europa 4 video. It takes too much time. And I like to upload at least a 15 minute video. And Supreme Ruler, you know, doesn't take too much time. So it's already December 13th, 1939. We're almost there to the new year. So that way I can start my war against the US, which is everyone is what everyone's waiting for. I've got my I've got a naval blockade going on here as you can see. Washington, New York, Philly. Just around the eastern seaboard there. I don't even know if that's gonna do a thing. We must rally behind this cause. Don't give a damn. Pause that. New national focus. Army Army of Movement. Two times fifty percent research bonus for land doctrine. go with the army of movement and before I do something I forgot research research where's the research can I oh, let's go with that half track I want a half track I don't I can't get the MP it looks like the mp40 there 
Improvement infantry equipment. I keep forgetting to do research here. And then special forces. Mountain infantry, marines. Yeah, let's do marines. Confederate marines. Going on in there. China and British Raj. All right, so let's check again one last time. January 29th. So hopefully this kicks off the war against the U.S. And I could try to take Washington, D.C. and also the entire state of Maryland. That might be different, though. The outcome could lead to a bigger war against the U.S. here. I'm surprised that I haven't even, or they haven't even declared war on me yet in this battle royale mode. Strange. Mexico, on the other hand, is getting eaten up alive over there. They're still in control of Mexico City, though. Oh, there goes Mexico City, and they moved the cap. Uh, uh, can I take all states? Can I take all of it, please? <laughs> can I take... I don't think I have enough. I only have 10. Score 10. Wait, stop. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I only have a score of 10. I don't think I can take any of that. From the looks of it, no. Mac I mean, the US is going to take everything here. I only have a score of 10, and well, actually, I can't see what that says right there. I'm blocking my the stupid description there. I don't know. Um, give score. Wait, what? I don't even know what's going on, to be honest. Like, how do I... I completely forgot how this goes already. Take all states. Of course I can't take all states. Alright, forget about it. I, I don't want to do it anymore. Confederate states. Give score? <laughs> Let me out! No! I don't know. I freaking forgot what to do now. Ah, dang it. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. All right, none. There, none. There we go. I can't see. Once you click this button, your remaining points will be distributed among your faction members. I get nothing. So the United States annexes all of Mexico there. All right. I don't have no score. Confer I'm at war with Canada now. What the fudge? Yo! That's bullshit! Wait, what? Cuba. I'm also at war with... No, Canada's at war with Cuba. Okay. Canada better not mess things up right now. I'm trying. God, stupid mouse wheel. If you guys want to donate me a new mouse, it doesn't matter. Cheap-ass $10 mouse. I don't care. Please do so. Well, I don't have a P.O. box, actually. Where people can send... I guess you can call it fan mail. Uh, I know a lot of famous YouTubers do that. I don't do that at all. But, jeez, man, I really do need a new mouse. It's such a pain trying to scroll and whatnot. Timer is done. Good timing, though. Let's see how this goes. Slow it down. All right. All right, we're at war. Yep. Here we go. Give me Washington. We're winning this war right now because I have all my troops lined up there. Again, it's a full frontal assault. But I know the U.S. isn't going to take li that lightly. And they're already pushing into Tennessee, my neighboring states here. And there's no defenses there. Already in Texas as well. Oklahoma. I just want to see what happens if I take Washington. I mean, Mexico fell... Actually, I don't even know when they fell. I mean, they did take Mexico City, but then they moved their capital. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, you heard that. That's the custom mod sound that I have enabled as well. The battle sound modification. 
you heard the M1 Garand Ching <laughs> the famous Ching of the M1 Garand love that Call of Duty World War 2 still sucks I hate that game never gonna buy it never gonna play it ever again I only played the beta I don't know why I just I just I, th I was impressed at first I was really wanting to get the game but now I really don't care and Call of Duty is not the same. Not the same as the classic World War II version of Call of Duty. I finished that one on stream. Oh! No! Come on! How long is this gonna take? Seriously, I've been here forever. How many years do they have in there? Great. And this is why I prefer Supreme Ruler over this. Or any other RTS game. It just takes too much. How long is it gonna take? I'm pushing all my units and there's a naval battle going on over there too. That's actually between Canada and the US now, but it looks like I'm being sunken and Richmond is gone. Ah, fuck this game. Whatever. Whatever. I don't want to watch videos about it at all. But how long is it gonna take? Like, how long is this gonna take? I've been here. Forever! Come on! I got a tank in there too, for fuck's sakes. They've only got a garrison. Move their capital all the way down to where? I don't even know where that is. Amarillo? Dallas. Dallas is gone already anyway. Do I have it now? Uh, no. I feel like my troops are just cleaning their boots, cleaning their guns, eating something over there, not even fighting. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't even care anymore. On the other hand, uh, Germany <laughs> has been doing great things over there in Europe, and so has Italy. It looks like the Axis actually. Are working together? Looks like the Soviet Union are part of the Axis, maybe. But as you can see, Germany and Axis, France, all the Nordic countries, actually. And even Spain and Portugal, Italy, Yugoslavia, Romania, Greece, all those southern Balkan countries there. Soviet Union, control of Eastern Europe. Iran's gonna fall to them. Afghanistan is already gone. Japan has in, is in control of Mongolia and a few other parts. In, Parts of East, uh, Far East Asia, China. Uh, oh, well, actually, Japan is fighting communist China there. And it looks like Afghanistan lost their little small territory there, their little enclave. India, British Raj, still fighting, fending off China there. And then Australia. I wish I knew how to do that, too. Look at that. Landfall invasions in Hearts of Iron. It looks like the Dutch East Indies, Indonesia, will fall to Australia there. How's New Zealand doing? Nothing. They're doing nothing. They're at war with Saudi Arabia. I think. Yep, Saudi Arabia's gone, actually. Turkey. That's a new Ottoman Empire going on here, as you can see, for Turkey. And they're at war with Italy right now. And then South America. Peru is becoming their own empire there. Same with Argentina. Colombia. We got the four-way alliance here. Not an alliance, but a four-way standoff. A Mexican standoff, I guess you can call it. Between the four dominant South American countries. And then the Central American countries. Looks like El Salvador is becoming the dominant one. Yeah, El Salvador is becoming the dominant Central American country there. Alright, so that's the overview there. How about Canada? Canada is still alive. Well, I'm done for there's nothing I can do anymore to be honest and I was gone I'm eliminated and the Confederate States is no longer there and the United States is back to normal <laughs> Franklin Roosevelt of course they have Mexico under their control and it looks like they're gonna be pushing into Central America and that's gonna uh, 
fought pretty quickly. El Salvador is going to be gone in no time. But yeah, the United States is back to normal. Confederate States is gone. And that's how this mod ends. I actually like this mod. I prefer this more than 1984 mod that I played last time. I actually give this mod an 8 out of 10. I don't know. It's always nice playing as the Confederate States for some reason in an alternate world. Or even in the 1930s. You can't do that as Supreme Ruler. But I like this. I like this a lot. A lot. So this mod is available in the Steam Workshop. And again, guys, you, you can request whatever you want. More mods, etc., etc. As always, subscribe, like. Hopefully I can stream next week. I'll be uploading a highlight maybe tomorrow or on Sunday. Subscribe. As I said, means a lot. Let's get to 2K as quick as possible. Any support helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't mind that.